Question 11. Gregory predicts that 310 people will attend the spring play. There is an actual total of 220 people who attended the spring play. What is the percent of error? Round to the nearest percent. So, so we would take 310 because that would be our guess minus the 220. So 310 minus 220, and that equals 90. So I take the error, which is 90, and I divide that by the actual amount. The actual was 220. So when I divide, I get 90 divided by 220, and that's going to be 0 0.409. But if I have to round to the nearest whole percent, there would be 40.9%, which would round up to 41%. Number 12 says that Emilio and Reagan each sell popcorn at basketball games. The table shows how much they charge for each popcorn, including markup for supplies and the number of bags sold. Who made the most profit? So if they're selling, if Emilio is selling popcorn for $1.25 and a markup of 8%, I want to take $1.25 times 8%. When I do that, I get 10 cents. So if I add that to a dollar 25, that's a dollar 35. And if they sold 30 bags, they would he would make forty dollars and fifty cents. Now Regina, on the other hand, we have to take a dollar forty times 5%, which is 7 cents. And we add that to her total, that would be $1.47 that she's selling. And multiply that by 26 bags, $1.47 times 26, that would be $38.22. So who made more profit? That would be Emilio. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen talks about find each percent of change round to the nearest whole percent and state whether the percent of change is an increase or a decrease. So as you can see over here, I have put our equation about how we're going to solve that, our big minus small divided by the original. So the first number is always the original. So I have 75 minus 25 is 50. And I'm going to divide that by the original, which is 75. So when I take 50 divided by 75, I get 0 0.6666666. Which equals to 67%. And since our numbers are going smaller, that's a decrease. Number 14, 7,500 to 8,200. So again, I take the big minus small, 8,200 minus 7,500, which would be 700. I'm going to divide that by the original, which is 7,500. So 700 divided by 7,500 equals 0 0.933333, which equals 93%. I'm sorry. No, it does not. The decimal is in the wrong spot. That would be nine percent and it's going up so that's an increase 
Number 15, it says, Kenzie bought a shirt for $18. The next day, she saw the shirt was selling for $24.60. What is the percent of change? So I take the largest number, $24.60, minus 18, which is going to be $6.66. Sorry, $0.60. Cents. I'm going to divide that by the original cost of the shirt, which is 18. So $6.60 divided by $18 is 0 0.3666666, which equals 37%. Number 16, last year Sando bought a book for $13.89. This year, the same book is nine is fifteen dollars and seventy nine cents. What is the percent of change? So again, I'm gonna take the big number fifteen seventy nine minus thirteen point eight nine. And that would be zero. Four, that would be nine. Would be a dollar ninety. So I'd have one dollar and ninety cents divided by 13.89 so a dollar 90 divided by 13.89 is 0 0.1367 which equals 14% remember the 6 is 5 or more add one more Number 17, the regular price of a new washer and dryer is $975. Also, that's an increase. Sorry. And the sale price is $850. Find the percent of decrease to the nearest whole percent. So I take 975 minus 850, which would be $125. And we're going to divide that by the 975 because that is the original price. So 125 divided by 975 is 0 0.1282, which in percent would be two numbers. The 8 tells me to add one more. So that would be 13% decrease. Number 18 says to find the total cost or sale price to the nearest cent. So we had lunch for $6.95. We leave a 20 cent tip. How much do we, was the total cost? So I'm going to take $6.95 times 20%. So $6.95 times 20% is $1.39. And I want to add that to the total, which was $6.95. So plus $6.75, oops, 95 cents. And I get $8.34 was my total bill. Because we have to add on the tip. Number 19 says you bought a bat for $30 and you got a 15% discount. Discount means we're going to subtract. So I have 30 times 15%. So 30 times 0.15 is $4.50. And I'm going to subtract that. So 30 minus $4.50. Zero plus 15 which is 50, decimal, decimal, decimal. 9 minus 4 is 5. 2 minus 0 is 2. So it would be $2.50 for the bat. Number 20, $2,500 for a jet ski, and you have to pay 6.5% tax on that. So we take our 
$2,500. We're going to multiply that by 6.5%, which would be 0 0.065. times 0 0.065 and that's $162.50 so with it being taxed I have to add that to my total price so I have to add that $2,500 in there to get $2,662.50 Again, number 21 is $12.95 for dinner. You're going to leave a 15% tax. I'm sorry, tip. So tip, we have to add on to our bill. So I take $12.95 times 15%, which is 0 0.15. $12.95, which if I round up is $1.94. And I add that to $12.95 because that was the total of my bill. And you'd get $14.89. So the next part, we're going to find the simple interest paid to the nearest cent for each principal interest rate and time. So to find the interest, it equals percent, or principal, times your rate, times time. And time is always in years. So number 22 says $1,400 at 3.8% for one year. So the interest equals 1,400 times 3.8%, which is 0. 038 times the number of years, which is one. So you take 1400 times 0 0.038 equals times one is $53.20. That's how much interest you would pay after one year. Number 23 is $628 times 5% for four months. So I take 628, the interest equals 628, times 5%, that's 0 0.05, times four months. Four months would be three twelfths, or four twelfths, I'm sorry, of a year. So four twelfths would be also the same as one third. So I take six twenty eight times zero point zero five times one third, and I get ten point four six 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 repeating. So to write that as in dollars. I have 10.4, and this 6 is 5 or more, so I have to add 1, which would be 7. Number 24 is $85, 44.5% in 3 years. So my interest equals 85 times 44.5%, which is 0 0.045, and then times 3. So 85 times 0 0.045 times 3 is $11.73. That's how much interest you would make or earn every month. Every year. Sorry. And number 25 says Mr. Fraser bought new shingles for his house for $3,500 using his credit card. His credit card has an interest rate of 17%. Ouch, that's high. 
If he does not pay off his balance at the end of one month and has no other charges, how much money will he owe on his credit card at the end of the month? So again, we're looking at interest equals our principal, which is 3,500 times 17%, which is 0 0.17, and at the end of one month. So that would be 1 12th. Okay, if I take 3,500 times 0.17 times 1 12th would be 0 0.083333333 repeating. And when I multiply that, I get $49.50. But that's how much interest he would owe after one month. So we have to add that to 3,500. And when we do that, you get 3,549.58 as your payment and how much you would owe after one month. Hey, this is your part two video. Use this review to help you with the test. You may use your calculator in my clever pages to help simplify fractions for your final answer or any other calculators that you need to use. Do your best and good luck on this test.